One of the most common questions I get from travelers is, what apps should I have on my phone before coming to Iran? My name is Negar from Tap Persia, and today I'm going to show you the 10 apps you will definitely need before coming to Iran. I know, I know, you already have a million apps on your phone, but if you want to make the most of your trip to Iran, it's best to have these apps on hand before you arrive. You will need these apps for getting around, finding restaurants, exploring hidden gems, and of course, connecting with your newfound Iranian friends. Don't forget to click that lovely red subscribe button if you want to know more about what Iran is really like. Before we tell you about the apps, we want to tell some points about Iran's internet. Feel like disconnecting from your digital life while you're on vacation? Iran is great for just that since international phone plans don't really work here. If you want to check in with some friends or family back home, you can always find fast and reliable internet connection at your hotel and at local coffee shops. But if you're the type that needs the internet to live and breathe, I highly recommend you to buy a local SIM card. If you want to explore the urban centers mostly, get an Iran cell SIM card. If you want to explore off the beaten path areas, get a Hamra Haval SIM card. They are both super cheap and offer multiple packages. Click on the description below to read more about each service. Also, it is worth noting that several websites and apps are blocked in Iran. Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest are only some examples of these blocked websites. Ironically, YouTube is also banned, which makes you wonder how we upload these videos. Hmm. The list of banned sites is not that long. They mostly include social media apps and news services. You can check out the link in the description below this video. So without further delay, let's see what are these apps you are going to need. The first and probably the most important app you will need is Instagram. Since all other social networks are banned, Instagram is the number one app in the country. Even my grandma has Instagram to keep up with her grandkids. Iranians are super friendly and social, so you're definitely going to make a lot of new Iranian friends. In order to keep in touch with all of your new Iranian buddies, you're going to need that Instagram page. Just so you know, Tap Persia also has a badass Instagram page you need to check for travel inspiration all across Iran. Instagram does use a lot of internet, which means you have to keep track of your usage using one of these next two apps, either Hamra Haman or My Iran Self. You won't need this if you're only using your hotel Wi-Fi, but I actually highly recommend you to get a local SIM card. It will just make your life a whole lot easier while you travel around Iran. You can order them before your arrival or at the airport once you land. Like I mentioned in the intro, get an Iran cell SIM card if you want to explore urban centers mostly, and get a Hamra Haval SIM card if you're exploring off the beaten path areas. You can use their respective apps to keep track of how much data you have left. If you want to buy more data using the app, you will need an Iranian debit card. Don't be shy, just ask the nearest Iranian for help. Iranians will be more than happy to help, especially when it comes to travelers exploring their country. More importantly, you can ask your new Iranian friend about the local spots to explore. Speaking of local inspiration, the next app you should have is Foursquare. While you can read about Iran's main attractions almost anywhere, Forest School will really help you find the hidden gems that most travelers don't get to see. You will mostly use the app to find places to eat or visit while you explore each city. If you're a foodie, Forest Square has excellent food recommendations when it comes to restaurants. If you're visiting Iran for its ancient history, Forest Square has everything you need to know about the hidden gems of Iran. Of course, you will need directions on how to actually get there, which brings us to our next app, which is Google Maps. Not only does Google Maps cover all the major attractions you are going to see, it will also give you wonderful directions on how to actually get there. You can also download the maps on your phone or an SD card so you don't have to worry about internet connection every time you want to use the app. Unfortunately, the navigation feature does not work in Iran, but that's mostly useful if you're driving. If you're walking, it gives excellent turn-by-turn -turn directions. If you don't want to use public transportation or you prefer apps like Uber, you can use our next app, which is Snap. Snap is a ride-sharing company just like Uber, but with a lot more options. You can order a ride anywhere in the urban areas all across Iran. 
The service works just like Uber with a smooth and user-friendly app that lets you pick your own destination on the map by searching for the attraction you want to see. We made a whole video how to install and how to use this app, so you can check the link in the description for more information about that. If you have a few days in each city, I really recommend you to walk from one spot to the other to get the feel of the local environment. But if you have limited time, a snap is the fastest way to get around. Not only it is cheaper, it also has more professional drivers. If you want to better communicate with your driver or any friendly Iranian, you should definitely have this next app. Our next recommendation is Google Translate. While most Iranians in their 20s and 30s speak conversational English, sometimes you might need a little bit of help to get your message across correctly. Google is king when it comes to quick translation. But what happens if you visit a restaurant or a shop and nobody speaks English? Google Translate has a feature that can translate your conversation in real time. The only catch is that both you and the Iranian you're talking to need to speak very slowly. So let your conversational partner know that before they start speaking rapid Farsi with a regional accent. You can also use the camera feature in the app to translate signs and texts in English. The other thing you need to know is that it translates English to Farsi very well, but Farsi to English, um, it's not that well. If you want to chat with anyone you just met, you should definitely download the next app, which is WhatsApp. WhatsApp is so popular in Iran, they prefer to regular phone calling and text messaging. You can also use the feature of video call and voice call and text messaging and all that with anyone all around the world as long as they have internet connection. So say goodbye to expensive international phone calls. WhatsApp is also great for sending your location in case you need to be picked up. You can also send and receive pictures and videos, which is what most people use it for. You can also use the app to stay in touch with your newfound Iranian friends when you're back in home. If you want to stay in touch with your friends in Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat, you're going to need a VPN, which is actually our next app recommendation. There are actually lots of different VPNs we can recommend, so it's up to you to decide which one you want to install on your phone. But in my experience, the top five most used VPNs are NordVPN, TurboVPN, Windscribe, SkyVPN, and StarVPN. They mostly offer their services for free, but if you're sensitive about your phone security, I recommend you pay for one month before you come to Iran. You can also check out the link in the description for the reviews of these apps and also other VPNs as well. If you're going to spend a few days in the capital Tehran, which you definitely should since it's freaking awesome, you're going to need a VPN, but also you're going to need the Tehran Metro app. The Tehran Metro is the most advanced in the country and can literally take you anywhere in the city. It's crowded and hectic, just like all metros, but Tehran Metro app will help you to find where you need to go, what you can see and do at each stop. Tehran is a huge city, so it's best to plan your route before you head out. And lastly, what list of travel apps is complete without mentioning TripAdvisor? Almost everyone is familiar with this amazing service. Although you can't book your hotel or your place at the restaurant, but you can, of course, read the comments other travelers have left on attractions, hotels, and restaurants as well. The app is also great for travel inspiration when looking to create your travel plan. And that's it. These are the top 10 apps you should definitely have on your phone before coming to Iran. Just to review, the apps we mentioned were Instagram for connecting with locals and travel inspiration, Foursquare for finding the best restaurants and hidden gems, Google Maps for directing and getting around, Snap for ride sharing in urban centers, Google Translate for speedy communicate, WhatsApp for keeping in touch with your new Iranian friends, one or more of the five VPNs, NordVPN, TurboVPN, Windscribe, SkyVPN or StarVPN for accessing Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat and more, Tehran Metro for quick access all across Tehran, and finally TripAdvisor for travel reviews and asking questions from other travelers. If you have any other apps that you think we should include on this list, please let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Tap Persia if you want to learn more about what Iran is really like. Hope to see you in Iran very soon.